Magic Mountain in Pulangka after 8 a.m. may not look that special. However, when the sun starts shifting up the mountain, that's when the magic starts to happen. The forests below the peaks are enveloped in swirling clouds, and green treetops turn into a field of white as the cool morning breeze flutters gently over the white. As soon as the sun sheds its rays on the clouds, it vanishes into thin air, like magic. Amazing Walks of Life wants to share with you another devotional to end the year 2022. And today is a good time to reflect on the year behind us as the new one approaches. Now we made it up through the squiggly roads coming up here to Magic Mountain in Pulangka. The roads leading up here are very reminiscent of this year's life journey for all of us. But when we got to this place, the spectacular view made us wonder of what great things the Lord has in store for us in 2023. The Lord's mercy is new every morning, and we are excited to receive those mercies our Heavenly Father will give to each and every one of us. But before we experience these, let's ponder on these thoughts. How was 2022 for you? Did you get to reconnect with old friends and make new friends? Were there projects you've started and finished? Were there new things you've done? Were you a blessing to your family, friends, and your neighbors? Did you pray more or less? Did you get to share your faith with others? Did you have a closer walk with God? And most importantly, are you making a difference in the time God has gifted you? If you'd like to reflect on the questions I just asked, you can pause the video and ask yourself these questions. Now, these questions determine how much we are making the gift of life count. David once said in Psalm 90 verse 12, Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Each day of the year is an opportunity to grow through God's guidance to be more in tune to what He wants us to be. To learn from the old journey, to experience the new life chapter with a fresh and clear perspective, lets us meditate on God's will. And what is God's will for humanity? God's will for our lives has a reason, a purpose. It is through scripture where we can find meaning in the principles discerning God's will. The Bible shows us very clearly about God's ultimate will for humanity. Let's read 1 Timothy 2, verse 3 to 4. It says, This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Is your heart ready to receive wisdom by choosing to walk closely with God each and every day? Friends, if you haven't done what our scriptures for today tell us, it's not too late. Let us choose to have new beginnings with God by walking with Him daily. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the new life that we have in you. And thank you for the new year. Help us to be grateful for what we have, but most of all, help us to walk closely with you and to know that what you have in store for us is always the best things for us. Please help us as we go about our daily task today. This we pray in Christ's loving name, amen. Thank you and God bless.